I'm gonna go over the two modes in the embroidery area. There is a, an edit view and a stitch out view. Now, I've just turned the machine on, so this is something that you'll get every time you do it. Remove hoop and attach the embroidery presser foot. So before you start anything, just go ahead and slide the hoop off. And I just slide it kind of towards the inside of the machine and then touch OK. So the embroidery arm can always calibrate. So at our store every morning, all the machines get turned on. They all need to calibrate. We just take the hoops off, slide them to the side, and then we can put them on and we're ready to go. So I do want to just bring up a design. I'm going to bring up design number 15 from the USB stick that comes with the Jade 35. The design folder is already selected, so I'm going to touch OK. And you'll notice that the folders are divided out. I'm looking for design 15, so I'll go down to the second folder and touch OK. Arrow down to DJ, Designer J, and 15, and touch OK. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that when we select this design, it always comes up with the hoop closest to the size of the design that it would fit in. Now this is not the hoop that we have on. We have the one that comes with the machine, and that's the 240 by 150 hoop. To change the hoop size, touch the hoop icon and arrow to the right. Touch the OK button to highlight the hoop 240 by 150. Now the machine will recognize the hoop. Now, going between what I call a stitch out mode and an edit mode is with the touch of the alt button. The alt button kind of takes you between these two screens, just right here at the lower corner of your screen. And you can see that on the first screen, the stitch out screen, we have the hoop size, the total stitch count, the spool indicates how many color changes were on color one of six and how many stitches are in color one. We can touch alt and you can kind of see this little corner toggling between the two pages here. So when you're on page one or the edit view, this is where you can see the design and move it up, down, left or right, and you'll do that with the arrows. This design is almost as far left and right as it can go, being the size that it is. This is also where you can do your uh, rotation. So if you go ahead and touch 90 degrees, you'll notice that your design will twist. Now it twisted clockwise, but if you come back out to, and you can kind of kind of see which way it turns, uh, it'll show on both the screens there. So. Now it's upside down, so if it says 180, you're gonna be upside down in your hoop, and then 270, and then back to zero. So things we can do at this screen is to rotate, move, size, so we can go up or down in short amounts. You can kind of give the design a uh, little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Now keep in mind that doesn't change the stitch count. It only kind of spreads the stitches out if you make it bigger or makes them closer together if you are going smaller. So just that's why it limits you so you don't go overboard in that area. So you can go ahead and when you're ready, you can go ahead and go back to the stitch out screen and go ahead and start sewing.